Okay, hi. Today, I'm going to show you how to find debugger ranges for PS3 games for real-time editing. First, you're going to need to be connected and attached in the debugger and target manager. Now, I can quickly do this in, one, in two steps with the uh, net sheet. So here we go. Okay, now that that sheet is open, just click connect. See now this is connected. And down there you see attached, boom. Now, you don't need that sheet, you gotta keep it open because if you disconnect, or if you close it, it automatically disconnects. So you can see in the target manager that you're connected. You can just close the target manager if you do use it. Just go ahead and open up your debugger. And since I'm not doing any so I'm not trying to find any hacks. I'm just going to update once. And there you go. Now you can see from my failed attempt before that I'm already at the end of the memory region. So we're just going to ignore that for now. And just go to the start. Which is all zeros. So you just put OX and then four ze or eight zeros. And there you are. So the first memory region isn't really that big in many games so you just gotta experiment if you see the, these D's you've gone too far you've passed the memory region so you just have to start from a number and just change it until those D's go away and you see zeros and keep and once you're at those zeros you just have to keep going up until you meet where the zeros meet with the D's so a not far enough just go f too far so let's just jump to c too far Ooh, i changed the wrong number didn't i yes i did it's very hard to see this <laughs> the debugger can, can be very small on some screens a a so just go to a5 so i just already messed this up <laughs> Oh, phone went off. Okay. So A is already way too far. So just jump too small. Make it a two. Two is good. Two. A. Jump to E. There you go. Look at that. Boom. This is the one you want. This is where the memory ends. Right here. So you want to copy it. You're going to want to go to your text document. It goes, the end is always in a C. There you go, there's the first range. Now there's going to be ranges here, 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 and maybe here, I can't remember. Most games have 10,000 or 10, 10 million, 2 million. Some games don't have 2 million, but a lot of them, a lot of them in my experience do. So you just take 10 million, boom, starts off with dead beef. Uh, most games, ten, the 10 million area starts off with dead beef as the first little range. I'm not entirely sure why. It's definitely a little weird, but. Uh, you just gotta test and change the number until you start seeing some of the null range. I don't know what they really call it. I call it null or D's because that's what it is. It's just it'll be an F F F C. That's three F's and a C. Yes. So. Skype, ignore that. Um, so that's got to be nine. And there you go. There's the region. Sorry if you hear some sniffling, and if I forget to cut out coughs, it's, um, it's kind of sick at the moment. So there's your ten million area. So you're just gonna do the same thing for the for the two or the twenty. Boom, twenty million right there. So then you're just gonna. Put a number in a random spot, not too high up, and just hope that you find something. That'll be an F, 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 C. Uh, move that F. 
So it's that last number. It's going to be a E. No, not an E. Huh, D. No, uh, B. Okay, that's weird. Is it really AFF? No. Uh, <laughs> that's weird. So pretty much it's all trial and error. It's not nothing you can tell by the target manager. Okay, so it's just trial and error. You have to just kind of understand where the regions are. After doing a few games, you'll learn that they tend to follow a path. There you go, right here. So have to, that's the next one, and it ends in a C, like all the others. So just replace that last thing with a C, and same thing for the 30. OX, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, or boom, 30 million. So 30 million era is going to be big for this game. Other games, it might not be as big, so just experiment. Some games have memory in the 30 million or the 50 million. It's just where the developers, I think, decide. I'm not even sure if it's the developers that decide. I think it's just the virtual memory itself is like, oh, no, you can go here. I'm just speculating. <laughs> but now that you're C... F, F, F. Okay, so make that an F. There you go, right there, boom. This is it. Now, you do this for every region, and then there you have them, the debugger regions for that game. You can keep them to yourself, or you can tell other people that play that game. And then they can use the regions to find stuff. There is one region that I've never found. My personally, I've never found a hack in, or something to modify. Is that's the C area that I showed you before, up here C. And this is fifty. I'm just doing it because I'm not even sure if there is a fifty million area. If there isn't, okay. So you just go up by ten million each time. 10 million, 20 million, 30 million, 40 million, 50 million, 60, so on and so on and so on. Until you start finding where the ones just keep on being D. So remove 50. There you go. C. C. I think it's PSN or XMB or it's something. Because it's it doesn't seem to have anything to do with the game. So it's going to be a pretty big area. Some games are smaller. But most of the time, they're pretty big. Like, this is CF5, that's close to D, CF7, CFA, okay, it's not past the A, so just go to 8, it's past 8, so 9, F, 9F is too far, Move the F, make it a 0, 9 is too far, right there, boom. So then... Take this, boom, boom, boom. There's your ranges for Kingdom Hearts Final Mix 1.5 English. And so you can now use these for finding hacks and whatever. Modify your character's health, MP, money, anything. That's it.